for the analysis of drugs in e tabs i use the example 3.2 from structure analysis by rc hibler here is the example 3.2 determine the force in each member of the roof truss shown in the figure the dimensions and loadings are shown in the figure also state whether the members are in the tension or compression we have to also find whether these members are in tension condition or in the compression condition for the modeling of truss in e tabs uh, i have created the grid uh, you can see uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 grids in the x direction 1 2 3 Uh, grids in the uh, z direction or uh, you can say y direction but in e tab software the uh, vertical axis is the z axis and this 1.1547 meter you can uh, find by trigonometric method so similarly 2.31 meter and each base uh, truss members are 4 meter 4 meter 4 meter so so the joint distance is 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter and 2 meter before analyzing the truss in the e tabs we should memorize our basic uh, concept that truss members are connected together at their joints only truss are connected together by friction less pins the truss structure is loaded only at joints the weight of the members may be neglected for the analysis but uh, but in the actual uh, in the real situations we cannot uh, ignore that weight of the member but just for the study purpose we ignore the weight of the truss members so now we will move for the modeling of the truss member in e tabs here i am opening my e tab software 2016 it will take some time now i will start from a scratch file uh, you can start new model from here and also from the file file new model model initialization there are three setting so for uh, you can use user default settings so uh, i am moving from the scratch file so that's why i am clicking use built in setting with uh, my problem is in uh, metric si system uh, so that's why i will select metric si unit system and steel section database uh, if you are designing then that it's important Uh, you whether select uh, fps system or si system uh, section database steel design code that definitely for design purpose there it is concrete design code i am clicking okay now here is a grid option so i will again go back and check how many grids in the x direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and in the z direction 3 1 2 3 3 so here number of grids in the x direction 7 number of grids in the uh, y direction no need so that's one is okay in spacing in x direction is 2 meter in the y direction again is not needed uh, i will discuss why uh, i am putting in the y direction 1 meter uh, when we do analyze problems in in our classes or in theory classes we use x y system but in software the horizontal axis is x and the vertical axis is z so i will put um, for, uh, that is the vertical axis in which number of stories so basically there are two stories and story height is 1. 1547 meter first story and second 2.31 meter 1. Point, 
वन पॉइंट वन फाइव फोर सेवन एंड दी बॉटम दैट इज दी बॉटम स्टोरी हाइट एंड द टिपिकल स्टोरी हाइट फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ स्टोरीज दैट इज टू पॉइंट थ्री वन टू पॉइंट थ्री वन मीटर ओके नाउ आई एम क्लिकिंग ग्रिड ओनली ओके here now you are seeing two windows 3d view and plan view so i will just uh, click uh, i will close one window uh, i am going to work you know, only in one window elevation one lie so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 grids in the x 1 2 3 grids in the x direction and you can also check 1.1 here 1.1547 and here if your grid is not according to your conditions you can also go to edit in the edit uh, grid story data here you can also modify the grids so here i am clicking close now i am going to define material properties uh, uh, material there is already defined Uh, 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 50 grade uh, steel. You can check this its strength. That is uh, 344 mega pascal. Okay. For section, there are many sections. Here yeah. we'll just uh, use a steel section whatsoever. because we will just uh, use for the analyzing purpose here 31 watts ever okay now i am going to draw the truss members from here draw members so from here i will select any steel section mm, for example w250 and start drawing in this uh, truss members let's see first of all base members from this to this this okay i am putting escape or you can also click or uh, right click now it's just looking like that our dress now i am put, uh, putting the boundary conditions on the right side there is a roller support and on the left side there is a hinge support so i i will remove these extra supports click Join these joints. I am going to assign joint restraints. So there are three options: fixed support, hinge support, roller support, and no support. Here I clicked apply. So now their supports are removed. I am I am going to click here. There is a roller support. Apply, and there is a hinge. There is already a hinge. Clicked apply. That will replace. Okay. Now I will apply the loads. on this joint and this joint there is a 3 kN and on the uh, vertical there is a 2 kN so in the assumptions we have taken that uh, the self weight will be ignored so that's why i am deleting the dead load yes and i will consider only live load so now i click this joint and this joint and assign a joint load data force in the downward direction minus 3 kN okay apply you can see now i will click this joint and apply minus 2 kN load downward apply 2 kN 3 kN 3 kN here now 
now the software do not know whether these are the beam members column members or the truss members to make these all members the truss members we have to ignore the moments at the joints uh, for that purpose we have to make the members excel members so i am clicking all the members here you can select all the members here i have selected all the members i am going to assign frame uh, release or partial fixity here i am releasing the moments apply now this all the members are acting as a excel members now i have assigned the loading conditions support conditions and the members now i will run the analysis before running the analysis i will save my model here problem uh, sorry example 3.2 save after saving the model, model i will run the analysis here you can see so now you can also see the deflections due to live load at any point here it's the vertical point uh, 314 millimeter downward okay you can also check the what are the units of the displacement so the units of displacements uh, here if you are not seeing then click here here lens units are in millimeter so all units are in millimeter okay now i want to see the reactions i will go uh, into the display uh, spot spring reactions here i will click all these apply in the tabulated form or in whatsoever here in the left side that is a 4 kN and in the right side it's a 4 uh, kN fx uh, is zero so what are the here that is exactly matching our the theoretical problem so now we will check the uh, the forces in the members so in the software in fgb fgb is 3 kN compression where is fgb fgb 3 kN compression so now we will see the forces in each members i am closing it display uh, display forces here click click on axial force i am going to apply here now you can see that is the minus 3 kN compression right click here minus 3.007 kN compression now we can see the uh, forces in each members here in the vertical minus 4 in all the bottom members are in tension so that's how you can model any truss uh, of unlimited number of members of unlimited number of joints in e tabs and you can analyze uh, with more accuracy and uh, with more appropriate uh, method so that's all we have verified so now we can also check one more member for example fbf 1.73 kN tension fbf f b f this is a member 1.73 this is a member here 1.73 tension so that's uh, verifying our theoretical results so that's all thank you